right everyone this is zero budget geek and welcome back to saturday night smash up so i don't think we've had any new updates since last week so let's start a new game here uh we'll just keep our settings the way they were before two opponents we'll keep it easy for now because just still practicing the game learning the different factions so there's no new factions yet uh, i do know that tricksters and wizards are coming down the pipeline um but i think what we're gonna try is two of my favorite factions so far is the robots and zombies so i think we're gonna go with that uh, uh, let's pick zombies first, I guess. Zombie robots or robot zombies should have been. <laughs> All right, uh, Fred there picks aliens, and Sophie's gonna go ahead and pick zombies. All right, and then she's gonna get to go again, so she's gonna be zombie aliens. Fred's gonna be alien zombies. Oh God, is this like a full zombie episode? All right, we're gonna be zombie robots. Transmission zombie received. robots. So this is the unfortunate thing with so few factions in the game, but that will improve. All right, who's gonna go first? I think I actually get to go first, which I don't really want, but a mall crawl is actually pretty nice. Uh, we'll start off with that that'll let us uh, search your deck for any number of cards with the same name and place them into your discard pile shuffle your deck that's actually perfect uh, perfect start so we'll play that and we're gonna go ahead and go for tenacious Z which is really the only card we want to pull out we're gonna discard that uh, we're gonna discard the next one and we're gonna discard all of them so there's three tenacious Z's in our deck we put them all on our discard pile, and now we can actually put them out there somewhere in addition to whatever we want to play. Um, hmm. So I could get six total power somewhere, and I don't know where I want to do that. I don't like being, well, after each time a minute is playing, the owner may play extra minute power two or less. I could actually put a whole bunch on the homeworld right now. And prevent anybody else from playing anything or I could just go on the jungle oasis four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve I could do the jungle oasis all by myself so let's oh no I can't because I already played an action if I had overrun available I could have done I could have put all my guys here overrun it and no one could play on it but that's not available so let's just go with the home world then so we'll put the warbot on the horror home world. And then we can play another guy here. And I can discard that. No, we'll return to the, that to the deck. Really, the only re reason we would want to discard is maybe like the uh, Tenacious Zs. Let's go ahead and put a Tenacious Z uh, from our discard pile onto the home world as well. We'll just uh, go ahead and pile on there. And then might as well put another walker there on the home world. And then we want to return that to the deck and that'll be it. We'll draw two cards and our turn terraforming. He's gonna, what, get rid of the home world? Let's see. All right, so he swapped that to the, what is it? The central bay each minion has, here has plus one power. That's fine for me. He's gonna get his own zombies out now. Each man here has plus one power. Why do my guys not have plus one power? Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, come on. Don't cheat me. Alright. Plays a scout there. Why is he getting bonuses from it and I'm not? Each man in here has plus one power. This is a fail, guys. If he busts this. Yeah, he's going to bust it because he's getting the bonus and I'm not. Oh, there there it is. Okay. I was about to, you know, file a complaint here. All right. Central base is scoring. We will score first there because we have the most. So they just gave that to me. That's fine. So we will score first, first place there. Man, getting that mall crawl was a really nice start for us. 
that that pretty much almost ensures every turn we'll be able to play at least two minions so that's that's just really really good okay so now we can um what do we want to do plus one power for each of your other microbots all of your minions are considered microbots um, I'd like to bust the jungle aces by myself, but I don't have enough guys to make that worthwhile because I'll put, let's see, this guy will be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. No, it'll take several turns before I can bust the jungle oasis. So, um, the fact, I, when this space scores, the winner gains one VP for every five power that player has here. I don't like being first. After each time a minion is destroyed, it plays at the bottom of its owner's deck. We don't want to go there. Um, although, their factions do not destroy anything. The aliens can, but they can do that from anywhere. So maybe we do want to go for the tar pits. I don't know. Maybe I want to go for the uh, factory. Really don't want to go at the tar pits. Well, I just mentioned that. that yeah. Hmm. All right, let's let's go to the tar pits. We'll put that guy. We'll put uh, Tanisha Z from here. We'll go on to the tar pit as well, and then I can actually just overrun it, and then they can't go there. Or do I just want to draw some cards? Drawing two cards, and then I'll draw two cards at the end of my turn. Um, that's a little bit better than. Keeping them from playing. Yeah, we'll, we'll do tech center. We'll draw a couple cards. That's nice. And then we're going to draw two more at the end of our turn and pretty much refill our hand. There's an abduction. That's fine with me. That's actually no problem. Supreme Overlord. Okay, he's going to return the guy back to my hand. And Grave Robbing. Play a card. Place a card from your discard pile into your hand. What does he get? I don't know what he got. Alright. Alright, so return stuff to my hand. Alright, what do we got? We got a nuke bot here. Do, 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 do. We could put a zap bot. That will let me play some more. I could get... Well, if I put the microbot, if I put the zap bot, that would let me play the microbot alpha and Tanisha Z there. That would give me uh, two, three, four, five, six, seven power there. But that only puts it to 12. Um, I could play that and then prevent anybody from playing there for a round. Or. That seems like that might be the best way because if I put Nukebot, that just puts gives me five power and then I'm tied and then yeah I think throwing a bunch of guys on there is not too terrible and then nobody can play anything so let's do that let's put this guy here choose a card to play we'll put the microbot alpha We'll put uh, a Tanisha Z from here onto there. This is why I like uh, zombie robots. I mean, they can field a lot of minions pretty quickly. All right, now we're blocking that from anywhere else. There's an abduction. Move a minion to another base. Oh, I don't like that. That's an invasion, actually. Uh, so he's moving my guy away. Puts it over there. Um, okay, proceed. Plays a collector there. Alright, that's just gonna bring it back to my hand. That actually that's actually nice. Sure. Alright, and Temple of Goju will be overrun. And he puts a guy there. Alright. I think we still want the tar pits. Um let's see. All of your so, hmm, if I put, uh, let's see, if I put this guy there, that's, I'll have, uh, two, four, six, 
seven, eight, nine, ten power. Uh, plus five is fifteen. We still be short. Play an extra minion from your discard pile. Okay, we could bust the tar pits, I believe. I believe. So we put the microbot alpha here. Put the tenacious Z. Maybe not. Maybe we do. Hold on. Maybe we do this guy here. Play this. Actually, that was not. Uh, can we cancel that? Um. No. Yeah, we'll play this guy. Onto there. All right. So we're gonna win that base. And then we can put a Tenacious Z from our discard pile. We can't put it on the Temple of Goju, so I guess we'll go for the factory. So we'll put this guy, boop, and go over there onto the factory. And there we go. The Tar Pits is scoring. We are first place. So there we go. Yeah, uh, very powerful together, to, uh, zombies and robots. Robots are pretty good offensive faction, so to speak. Offensive in the fact that they can field lots of minions or lots of numbers onto a base pretty quickly. And then zombies, he's playing a, he's just getting a card back from his discard pile. What is he getting? I couldn't see. I wish he would say what, what, he, what he got there. All right. Uh, he put a scout on Tortuga. The runner up may move one of his minions into the base that replaces his base. That's fine. And then he's going to end his turn. Lord Zombie, or Zombie Lord, will go on to Tortuga. Okay, so what can we do here? We've got, we've got stuff we can do. Play on a base on your turn. You play a minion here from your discard pile instead of from your hand. Well, that's the only action, so we'll probably play that. And let's see. We might be able to steal Tortuga here. If I put that, that will let me play an extra... On your turn, you play a minion here from your discard pile. Oh, instead. So that's not going to give me an extra guy. But we can put the Zombie Lord... Uh, let's see here. Power two or less from me from your discard pile on each base. We have no minions. Well, what do we have? We have these two walkers. We don't want to. Oh, actually, we could get the microbot alpha out. Uh huh. Or maybe even the zap bot. Actually, both of, both of those. All right. So, if we go with this guy on Tortuga, that'll be five. Uh, six, seven. That's not enough to bust it. That puts us at 15. Hmm. But even if we take second place, it's still really good for us. So I think that's what we want to do. I'm just trying to see if there's any extra way to get extra minions. I mean, we could put this micro, uh, the hover bot. Um, there's a good chance that we'll get a minion, but uh, that's a shot in the dark. And we have, you know, we can get something pretty good with this zombie lord. So we'll go for it. We'll put the zombie lord on the Tortuga. Um, let's go ahead and... Put a zap bot. Let's see. We'll put a zap bot where? Onto the factory, I guess. Can we not go there? Oh, we, we gotta not have a minion on the base. Um let's go with hmm. Temple of Goju. Sure. And then we can still put another one. We'll put the microbot alpha, and I guess he's gonna go on the jungle oasis. He's already at four there. 
Oh God, we can still put, we still put somebody else. No. All right, let's put this guy. We're going to a Tuga. Leading there. Oh, I can still play an extra um, extra minion of power two or less. Um, can we still do this from the zombie lord? No. We discard pawn each base where you have no minions. Well, we yeah, that's done. All right. Um, if we put the destroy minion on this base with power less than the number of minions you have here, uh, I don't think we want to destroy anything. Um, but getting this guy out is useful, so we'll put him out. On to Tortuga. Putting us at nine. And then on your team, we play a minion here from your discard instead of from your hand. Um, I think I wanna put that actually on the jungle oasis. And try to bust that by ourselves. Taking a risk there. Alright, puts this guy that gives him a victory point. We gotta be careful with blue, he's creeping up on points there. All right, abduction on zombie lord. Okay, sure. Gets a tenacious Z on there. Oh no, they're gonna cut me out of this base. All right, he puts that guy. He's gonna return that to my hand. All right, interesting. Well, we have no more min. Oh, actually, we do have these walkers here. Were they available before and I just didn't see them? Shit, I could. No. Alright, never mind. Alright, shuffle number cards from your discard pile into your deck. We'll probably do that. Get some of these action cards back. Um. So let's. Well, we don't really want to use the zombie lord now because we don't need them. We've got minions on all the bases, so, so that won't help. So I actually think I'll go with the nuke bot. Uh, that'll put us at 19. But what do we need? Six, seven. We need seven points on here. Five. Eh. Don't have enough. Shuffle any number of cards from your discard pile into your deck. And I don't have anything. Why are these guys highlighted? Oh, because I can play an extra minion onto the jungle oasis. Well, maybe I just want to blow that up by myself. And, you know, even if I take third place in Tortuga, that's still some good points. Hmm. Decisions, decisions. I could go with a hover bot. Well, what do I need to destroy this? I need a, uh, what is that? Six, eight, eight power here. Um, I can add five. Six, seven. Uh, man, I could get a. Oh, wait. He'll, he'll get bigger. He gets bigger for each person I put. So, um. So maybe I just want to put this guy here. That's three. Seven, eight. Yes. Yeah, wait, three. So that'll be like four, five, six, seven. Eight. I think that's enough. I think I'm counting right. So he he will get plus one. If I can put two more minions, that makes him a six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Am I counting wrong? Let's put the hoverbot on the jungle oasis. I get this guy. Okay. Each of your microbots gains plus one power. That's actually pretty nice. Um, where can we put them? Play it as an extra minion. All right, where do? If it is a minion, play as an extra minion. Yes, click it. Um, we can choose where we want to put it. I think I'll put him on Tortuga, and then. Oh, damn it, I can't run. I forget this is not an extra minion that you get to play. It's just... Uh, Alright, well, we'll play Lend a Hand. 
Might as well. And we'll put... We don't need more crawl back in our deck. We'll put the tech center. Shuffle into deck. We'll put the... They keep coming. Back and in, shuffle into the deck. Um... I'm okay putting the overrun back into the deck. I think I want to keep the rest of these. I don't need this anymore. These guys are fine now and there. And Warbot, I may be able to use it. So, all right. We're done with my turn. All right, so I screwed that up. I, I was one point off on there. But I don't think anybody's going to compete for, with me for that. So, and I'm okay taking third place on Tortuga. That's still two points. Treasure. So we'll, we'll take third place there, and that's pretty much intentional. All right. And, oh, that's a good base for us to start going to. All right. He gets a scout there. Yeah, we're going for the Evan City Cemetery. If we take first there, we, we basically win the game. Um, in addition to these two points here. So, um, what are we at? Seven. We just need, uh, what's that? Uh, three, five more points there. Which I can e easily bust. But I don't even need to add guys there. Because this guy's just going to keep getting bigger. Every time I put somebody on the board. Um... I think I still want to hold on to the zombie lord. Um, these guys are not going to... Actually, the microbot fixer. Yeah. Because he will let me play an extra minion. So we'll go here on Evan City Cemetery. Uh, we'll go ahead and put the nuke bot. There's no reason not to. Place the card from your discard pile into your hand. We'll go ahead and put nuke bot here. We'll go Tenacious Z. I can actually throw the Tenacious Z onto the Jungle Oasis and bust it now before anybody can screw with me. So maybe we'll do that and just bust it now. Yeah, more than enough. All right, and then do we want to get a card from our discard pile back into our hand? Probably... I, I, I kind of feel like getting the microbot fixer back because he lets us play extra extra minions I think I'm gonna do that play that and we'll take the microbot fixer and the jungle oasis is scoring so two points so, oh, there's an achievement for that called I Stand Alone, I guess, uh, scoring that by yourself. So, proceed. So now we're three points away from winning the game. So, I feel very confident. Again, zombie robots is just such a good, good combo. All right. So, all we need to do here is take third... Or second in seven semi cemetery. All right, Tenacious Z onto the homeworld. Oh, there's a homeworld there, which is actually pretty nice as well. But we're very close to just busting the Evan City Cemetery. They actually may bust it before I I, I get a chance to play this. Uh, they keep coming, Overlord. Is he gonna push somebody? Ah, they're going full force into the home world. They want to cut me out of that one. Plays a walker there. Holy crap. They're going to return the nuke bot back to my hand. Which kind of helps me. Oh, God. Are they going to bust it by themselves? Nope, not quite. Hmm. Hmm. Lots of plays there. So we can, what do we want to do here? We have a chance at ending the game here. So we need to either get third. I mean, se why do I keep saying third? Second in the cemetery or first in the homeworld. 
first in the home world it's gonna be hard because 15 points I don't think I can do that but uh, we need to get six points onto Evan City Cemetery that should be easy but we need to make sure that we're second so we need to be above five points again that should be pretty easy for us because we can throw down the microbot fixer we don't have any action cards though so we can throw down the microbot not the reclaimer the fixer so that's one point uh, plus five so five six points that's exactly what we need six seven eight will be at eight so we'll actually win the base plus this guy so yeah oh I, we, we actually have a zap bot here so yeah let's take the Evan City Cemetery let's just go ahead and do that now microbot fixer playing them first let's just play another minion which will go with uh, the nuke bot I guess let's uh, let's go with the zombie lord and then we get to put a tenacious Z from here onto there we're using that ability and then we get to put minions onto other bases we'll put uh, this guy on home world we might as well bust that oh my god we could actually take can we take that base um, we're busting this and we're in the lead there so we'll uh, put a zap bot can we put a zap bot on the home world oh yeah we can actually take this Throw that guy there. Look at that. Holy crap. Um, and we can still put these guys. Uh, Microbot Reclaimer. Microbot. We can play all of these guys. Holy crank. And I still got I still got stuff I can do. So uh destroying a minion on this uh, let's see. Robot um, uh, Microbot Reclaimer. We'll put him on the home world as well. God, could we bust three bases? No, that's kind of crazy. We'll, we'll make sure we take over the home world. Uh, shuffle any number of microbots. There are none. Uh, this. All right, we're done with the shuffling. We'll add this guy to the home world, I guess. Does it have to be on this base? We play extra. Wow, we can play anywhere we want. We'll go with Evan City Cemetery just to be sure that we are firmly in the lead. And then we'll go with the home world here. And what can we destroy? Blue, we don't like it. We're going to destroy your grave digger. Destroy that. Which base should score now? Does it matter? Um, let's say the Evan City Cemetery. I don't think it matters, but proceed. So, yeah, we just had a huge turn there. Look at that. So, yeah, I just proved that zombie robots, quite a powerful combo. So, right now, I really think that's the way the game is, that's probably the two best factions to play together. Um, I'll do this later. Okay, I guess do it now. Yeah, it, it's zombie zombie robots are just just really powerful combo together. Uh, yeah, there we go. It didn't even score the other base because we were just ahead. So, all right. So look at that. What a huge huge margin of victory so anyway hope, hopefully you enjoyed that guys if you did please give me a like and consider sharing this video and try the game out for yourself it's a lot of fun um there are more factions coming we're waiting for two more uh should be coming out probably before christmas and i have no idea what the word is on expansions after that but i'm sure there's going to be more so guys i'd like to thank you for watching and i'll see you soon